welcome back to my channel everyone. This is Donnie and you're watching Diamond Painting by Donnie. I have a sneak peek for Diamond Art Club's new releases that will be coming out this Saturday for Ruby and Diamond members and it will be available to everyone else on Monday. I have one of them here. I'm not sure what the other ones will be but they sent me this one to show as a sneak peek and the information on this is, um, this one's called The Bluebird Song. It is by Chuck Pinson. And here is a picture of what it looks like. So, some information about this. I don't know the prices on these sneak peeks because until they're actually available on the website, um, that's when the final determination will be for how much it will cost. So I, I don't even think they have that information to give until it's actually available. So I couldn't tell you, but I would imagine it'll be in the <clears throat> 50 to $55 range before, before any kind of discount or coupon. It has 50 colors with two AB. Now, I sometimes like to do landscape images, but um, these Chuck Pinson ones, there's some I like better than others, but um, my dad, that's the only kind of thing he really likes to do. So I may end up giving him this, this one, and I did give him a Chuck Pinson for Christmas. So he really loved that. All right. So this one is round and that's all the information. Two ABs, 50 colors. Yeah. So I was just, I'm just admiring the, I love this holographic, the snowflake holographic circular thing that they have on there. I used to talk about it a lot, but this one's not so shiny. You can't really see it as much, but there we go. Anyway. All right, come on. There's more in here. I know there is. Okay. Our toolkit. What you get in a Diamond Art Club toolkit is you get a blue pen. Hello. Hi, Tesla. Hi. Bye. You get a clear tray. You get a few baggies, you get a squishy, the color may vary, and, look at the squishy ball made. and Tesla made a squishy ball. She got this kit for Christmas and we made this and she loves it. These are great for sensory, sensory tools. Okay, mommy needs to finish her video now, okay? Squish, squish. You get two heart-shaped wax not squares, but you get two heart-shaped wax pieces. And <clears throat> this one comes with a six-placer. Sometimes you get a three-placer. Sometimes you get a six-placer. This one came with a six-placer. So it is round, so it does not come with tweezers. On square kits, they do send tweezers. All right. Now, it also has this wonderful sticker inventory sheet that you can straight away cut this up and put them on your labels. I mean, on your label your containers. Some people use the number. Some people use all three columns. I myself use the code that is on the canvas that you refer to when you did figure out which color to put on and the DMC number. Those are the two things I use. All right, so our DMCs, I mean our ABs on this one are number one and two. They're gonna be 129 and 136. So it looks like a yellow and a blue. All right, so here's that beautiful picture. And drills, we'll look at in a minute. And you also get your canvas comes in a nice plastic bag and it comes with a pamphlet 
of instructions. And there is a code in here for 10% off your next purchase. And this is landscape, so it's going to go sideways. Let me move the drills over here so we can pull this open best we can with that stupid glare. All right, so there's the house. Wow. This is amazing. And, or is that the barn? Oh, that's a house. Yeah. Looks like two different houses. So here I will, <clears throat> I will zoom out a minute so you can see this whole thing at once. Don't mind the messy desk. And look at that. So the bluebirds are down here, down in this area. There's one in there. There's one there. I think there's, yeah, it's just the two. But if you look, you can see a horse in the doorway. And then there's a bunny rabbit. Oh, wait, there's another bird over here, but that's not the blue bird. Looks like a cardinal. Um, looks like a snake is snaking up here. There's a lot of animals in this, I just realized. I think that's a snake, either that or it's a wood, wooden stick. But there's a bunny rabbit down here. And... Who knows? There may be more. I just can't really see from just this little picture here. I think there might be another bird over here somewhere. All right, so you can kind of get the gist of how big it is. Now let's uh, look at some of these ABs we got going on here. Okay, so one and two. We're looking for one and two. We've got... Oh boy. Oh, is that the actual symbol? It's just a plain. Oh, it is. That's a different one. See, I've never had 50 symbols before. So here, let me show you what I'm talking about. All right. You look in here on this bird. I thought maybe I just couldn't see what the symbol was, but see, there's like a blue spot. That's the symbol. It's just a circle inside of a square and it hasn't, it's just the blue, the blue coloring. There's no, nothing else. It's just a circle with nothing in it because sometimes there's a circle with a circle inside that, but not in this case, that is the actual symbol. It's just a blank, blank blue square. So that's one I've never seen because I've never gotten this far, I guess. But there, it's also here. This red one is the same way. Um, that's number 40. No, actually, it's more of... Here, let me show you. That's what it looks like. And it doesn't want to focus... So there you go. It's got like four little circles in the corners. And oh, look, the green is like that. Maybe this is something new they're doing. Oh, yeah, because they've got the red is like that, the green, and the blue. So all three of those symbols. Let's look on this. This might be easier. Let's see if there's any other colors like that. No, it looks like it's just those three, but I like that. I really do because you don't have any silly symbol to try and picture what it is. Well, on the canvas, it looks like there's little circles in the corner, but there's not. It is just the, um, basically the shadow of the, the circle that's in there it made it look like there was other little circles. So because I'm so close, it's having, a, it's conflicted on what to focus on. Okay, there we go. So now you can see them better. Number 31, number 40, and number 37. My internet is being really silly, so my beaming program is delayed a little bit. So 
All right, so my beating program decided to just peter out. Anyway, so I do like this. I like the way that they are doing this symbol here. The one with the solid, just the solid, solidness. It just, it makes it look, it actually makes it where you can see the image better, in my opinion. Uh, it's too bad we couldn't do that with all the color, all of them, but I think some of these would just, the colors would just be too hard to distinguish against, especially somebody who may have um, color blindness. But, you know, having symbols that are easy to read is a plus when you do need to have symbols. So I like that they are consistent with their symbol choices and um, adding these new ones in is a plus in my opinion and you can actually see where that specific one is a lot easier because you can see where just the plain green is with no symbol in the middle you can see where the the plain red is right here you know without a symbol in it same with the blue right there so how about we look at where these ab's are going to be um one and two. I can see some twos, but I want to look at the top to see if we've got any up there. It's, uh, it looks like it's a yellowish color, maybe. Yeah, we have a little bit here starting up in here. I can't get this over. There we go. So the roof of the house, we've got some ABs, these, the ones. Um, there's just a few spots not a whole lot and uh, I could be missing them but I mean they're they're just they're throughout in different places it's kind of hard to make sure I've got the canvas in the picture yeah right in here down the edge there's some spots. There's actually a lot of spots on the side of the house. You can see it is speckled with ones. Those are all going to be AB. Oh, that's going to be awesome. And then um, you've got a little bit more over here in the bushes and whatever that group of seven ones is. I I got my arms up in the air holding this. <laughs> uh, yeah, so in those bushes, there's actually quite a bit of ones. Focus. Okay, this is what happened last time. It unfocused and then... Okay, so I'll just show you this way. See, down in there, you've got quite a few ones down in the bushes where the um, fence is. I think that's the fence, actually. And there, the one is everywhere. Uh, it's the, it's in the the light of the, when on the wind in the windows of the house, right in here. Um, you've got a little bit more over in the window up in here. Um, more than the trees that are over here on this side, all over. I mean, the one is everywhere. So I expect there to be a pretty big bag of one. Now, two, I saw here in, I thought I saw, yeah, right here in the, the wings of the bird. And so far, that's the only, well, no, and then we've got them in the windows here, too. The blue, there's blue in the windows. Um, so it's like the background and in the doorway of this house. See, this looks like a house and this looks like a cottage. I don't know. Um. There's a little bit more blues. AB is here in this. Well, actually, there's quite a bit, actually. There's quite a bit of blues, the number two AB over in this section, this whole section here. And, well, actually, it mixes in with, it looks from a distance, the two is in red, and so is this other one that has the two red dots. So I'm kind of getting both of those confused, but, but there are twos, uh, and through here, 
these dots, I kind of, from a distance, I was seeing those two dots as a two as well, but there are twos mixed in as well with, with those two dots. So that color actually might be the non AB of that same color in AB. You know what I mean? I'm not seeing it on the chart, actually. I gotta scan it slower to find it. Yeah, it's 333, which off the top of my head, I don't know what color that is, but maybe I'll be able to remember and look at it when we look at the drills. So we've got twos over in here and we do have them in the windows and the doorway. We have a little bit right in here between the houses. The bird's wings are going to be AB. Um, 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 there's a little bit through here, down in this section. I'm, I'd have to keep referencing the picture to figure out, to remember what that is. I think my sticker fell. I don't see it, so. Oh, it's under here. It, oh, these are flowers. They're like, I'm not going to say what they are because I, I probably can't, couldn't tell you what kind of flowers they are. I'd say lilacs, but they're too dark to be lilacs, so I'm not sure. And then this area over here that I was saying that there's a lot of uh, ones, that is, looks like corn. Like this is, the, yeah, this is a garden over on this side. Okay. That's why there's a rabbit in there. But all of this where you see the color up on the fence, those are all the flowers. I'm going to have to get a professional in here to figure out how to get the glare off my surface of my desk and my shiny diamond paintings. Um, but yeah, there's more. So it looks like the two is going to be where the flowers are because there's more twos down in this corner as well. And those are, that's another patch of those flowers. So it, to, all in all, this is got this has a lot going on it looks like it will be really fun to do and i may not give it to my dad <laughs> i don't know it is round so it is something that is up my alley it does have some color blocking but it has a lot of confetti as you can look right uh, this stone cobble house cobblestone i should say sorry cobblestone house you can see there's a ton of confetti going on there as well as where the fence and the flowers are coming together. But I think this is going to turn out beautiful. This would make a great living room piece to put, you know, over the fireplace, over the couch. It, it's a great, would be a good, great conversation piece in the living room, in my opinion. But with 50 colors, lots of confetti, this is going to take quite a bit of time to do because like I said, it is 56 by 71 centimeters. Very big. All right, so let's look at some of these drills. Get this put away. And of course it comes on the tarpaulin canvas, which is so super soft. And the softness of the canvas doesn't matter so much um, in the end, as far as because it's soft and comfy. The whole purpose of that is so that you have a canvas that is self-flattening and it helps to bring out the color, the vividness of the color on the canvas. So I prefer this canvas material any day over anything else. This is my favorite canvas to work on. Right, so here are the drills. Okay, what we have, we have a loose pack of $7.79. And oh, I see the yellow AB. Okay, first off, we have the bags with the least amount of drills in them. And 
these drills are beautiful. I have very little issues with the drills that come with um, these kits. I do get a little bit of garbage, but it's so unsubstantial that I, I've kept them. But it amounts to such an, a little amount, it's not worth even showing. I don't even think I can find it for my last kit because it was such a tiny amount. I think I spilled it. <laughs> so here's the blue. That's the number two. I'm guessing there's going to be a lot of number one as well. Probably, I think there's more number one than two, but there's still quite a bit of two in this um, painting. So that blue is just so beautiful. Oh man, that's pretty. And then here's our other colors. So that blue, the AB version of, it looks like it might be an AB version of 797 or it very close to, cause it looks like it might be a little bit darker. Yeah, it's a tiny bit off on the shade. All right, so our next strip. Oh, we got three strips, so this is by itself. Th this one has a lot in these bags. This has a large amount. We've got our purples and browns, black, and that's all the black in this, it looks like. Just that one bag of 310. Dark, uh, darker green, more purples, greens, browns, reddish, another green. All right. And lastly, we have this row that is kind of folded weird, but um, where's that AB? Oh, it's on the bottom. It's yellow. So here we go with... Uh, colors we got grays and there's that peach color and more reds burgundy and mint color and there's our other AB that yellow right there isn't that pretty oh my gosh that just makes me think of Easter Sunday little girls in uh, yellow dresses with some sparkles. <laughs> yeah, so there we go. That is what you will get with this kit. And I am highly impressed. I know Chuck Pinson has some great um, pieces of art. Um, Diamond Art Club has a lot of his work. He's, well, he. They just started um, this last summer um, putting pieces up from Chuck Pinson and uh, every single one so far has just been absolutely beautiful. And this one's a little bit different than the others, um, but again, it's not. He always, They always seem to have a building of some sort in it. But this is the first one I've seen that's been like... Um, based around animals. I haven't really seen anything that's just like a farm or, well, it's not really a farm either. It's like a farmhouse, a farmhouse. And, oh, th that is a barn because you can see the horse coming out of it. Oh, wow. That is the best looking barn I've ever seen. I don't know if maybe there's an apartment above it. I don't know if that's how they used to do them, but it looks like a house. If you didn't look at the picture, but here, I'll let you see a little closer. And then it's got this up here, the hay, hay stack, I guess, where they put the hay. I'm not really familiar with farms very much, as you can tell, but yeah. Garden, farm, uh, barn, and farmhouse with birds and a well and beautiful sky and beautiful flowers. So I, I love this painting. I really do. And I, yeah, I found another bird. I seem to find something new every time. And I think there's a cat sitting outside the door of the barn. 
or maybe it's just my eyes playing tricks on me. It might be just the cobblestone. Yeah. But, um, there's an, yeah, there's another bird over here. I think this is a rope. I don't think that's a snake. Um, I could be wrong. I don't know. <laughs> but once the, oh, no, there's a butterfly. Once this is all done up, you, you'll be able to tell more of what, what is what. And I actually look forward to doing it. So let me know what you think. Um, have you done a Chuck Pinson before? Um, if so, which one was it? And how did you like working on it? And would you do it again? Do you think this is something you would like to get? Just let me know down below. And don't forget, it comes out Saturday for uh, Diamond and Ruby members. I believe it comes out around 9 or 10. I know the time changed, so I don't know if the time they are released changed. It used to be 9 a.m., but that's when we were on Daylight Savings Time. Now that we're back on Standard Time, I don't know if it's switched times. So um, it will be available on Monday for everybody else if you're not a Diamond or Ruby member. Diamond or Ruby member. So, gosh, yeah, let me know what you think of this painting. Um, and don't forget to hit that like button. It really helps my channel out tremendously when you hit the like button. Um, and if you haven't subscribed, I would really love it if you could subscribe and hit the notification bell so you know when I do post new videos and go live. So enjoy your time diamond painting, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. And don't forget to always sparkle wherever you go and whatever you do. Take care, everyone. Bye.